it's day four. I'm in Zagreb and I woke up at a decent hour today. It's 11 a.m. I am exhausted, but I want to get my schedule um, just adjusted to this time zone. You can tell I'm kind of tired. Um, so today my goal is to walk around, find a SIM card for my phone, and get some food, nourishing sustenance in my body, um, and explore. I've received some recommendations to go to the Museum of Broken Relationships. Hmm, how fitting. Um, so let's get started with our day. Okay, so I'm preparing my bag to leave and I brought protein powder, pea protein powder, and I don't have like Tupperware and stuff over here, right? Um, but I do have this like Ziploc bag from some random electronic thing. And <laughs> I was like, I don't deal drugs, but uh, kudos to whoever does it super neatly because this is a lot of product like all over the place. It's all over my fingers and I mean, I do have an eating spoon to put it in here, but um, the simple things that you don't have, like Tupperware at home. Okay, we're getting started with our day. This is where the taxi driver made me cry. <laughs> this is my second um, couch surfing spot. And I'm going to the supermarket right now to get some breakfast. It's already 12 p.m., but whatever, it's still breakfast. <gasps> There's birch trees. Look, aren't they pretty? I know they're birch because I tried to um, design some of my best friend's room with that. So we're gonna go to the supermarket, get some breakfast, and go to the bank. Looks like someone's doing construction. Remodeling their place. Someone has their laundry out. And there's a garden. Um, I was walking to the supermarket and I found this bakery. Huh, the universe is trying to feed me. So that was food faster than I expected. And now I'm going to go to the mall to get a SIM card. Okay, we made it to Avenue Mall. It's hella tall. Um, there's also McDonald's here, so I wanna see what uh, customized items they have inside and we'll get a SIM card. That doesn't look like the mall. <laughs> Let me check my G uh, phone. <laughs> this is the mall. It's hella. It just has like a hotel lobby, which is really odd. <laughs>
they have a T-Mobile here. I hope they let me have a phone plan. I am clearly not from here, and this lady in the front, we don't speak the same language, she pointed to this machine and like pressed the button for me and my ticket came out. And then she pointed at that screen that says like which station is serving which number. She's so sweet. Okay, so for lunch I have rice on butter and some sort of deep fried vegetable stuffing. Um, vegetarian choices are a bit limited here. There's the soup looked good, but there's like chunks of beef or chunks of chicken. And the pastry I had this morning had some ham in it. Um, it's, I would prefer that versus like plain, plain bread or something sweet. So, I'm trying to do my best. Okay, it's 3.20 p.m. and I'm walking to one of the badminton gyms right now. The first one I called, they responded in Croatian and um, uh, of course I was like, do you speak English? And then he like says something like, wait, 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 this is a badminton gym. And I was like, yes, I want to play badminton. And he's like, okay, good. You got the right place. And so they only allow like court rentals. And he's like, do you have someone to play with? And I was like, no, I don't know anyone here. And he's like, well, that's a problem. You're gonna have to find someone to play with. Um, because these are reserved courts only and then I was like I was gonna ask like will any one of them want to play with me if I just show up randomly and then he's like okay maybe you can try badminton flex like another gym so they didn't pick up and they're like five minutes from my walking so I'm just gonna walk over there and show up and see if they'll let me play <laughs> oh I feel like one of the toys and like the wanted toys. Um, wish me luck. Um, I'm just following the arrows that say badminton. Nope. Oh. Okay, so I just went to the sec second badminton gym and they're like everyone comes with a partner and no one plays no one comes by themselves and i'm like but i don't have a partner will anyone play with me and he was like no and i was like that's weird well because in california it's like pickup games um and then he's like, okay, how good are you? And I was like, I'm okay. Like, I'm not. And then he's like, oh, how many days a week do you play? I was like, two. And then he's like, how many days a week do you expect to play here? And I was like, two. <laughs> like, and he's like, okay, show me, show me how well you can play. And I was like, is this like a test or something? So he put me against like, um, a kid there and played with him, rallied a little, and I talked to the, the kid after and he's like, oh, I know a guy, like he could set you up with a group. And I was like, what does that mean? He's like, oh, we only train here. We don't do like pickup games. And I was like, I don't, <laughs> I don't want to train. <laughs> like two weeks of tra or a week of training isn't, that's not really going to do anything for me. Like, so I'll either try to beg <laughs> at the first gym or I don't know, play outside I guess. <laughs> no one wants to play with me. <laughs> okay, so I'm walking back to the um, my couch surfing spot and I'm supposed to get my bike at 4 p.m. That's in 15 minutes, so excited i'm gonna test out the clutch and hopefully that'll be it i got my bike um gosh i wish the interaction went smooth this isn't this isn't gonna be a yelp review but um here's the bike 1996 honda dominator um i'll do a walk around later but as far as like the interaction i mean i thought it'd be super smooth like 
here's the keys, have a wonderful time. And then I actually, I was reading the paperwork and you know, like I've never seen it before. And um, there's like a bunch of numbers. I didn't realize like the bike isn't outright mine. It's actually leased and I'll be selling it. I will be selling it, I didn't know this, back to the company when I'm done. And then however many miles I put on it, within a certain amount of time, the price they're paying me back is reduced, which is fine. Like I like considered this bike a complete, like not loss, but just, um, I wasn't expecting to get anything back just cause I'm gonna ride the hell out of it. And I was like, what are these numbers? Cause it's like 5,000 miles, 10,000 miles. And then it goes by like six, 12, 24, 36 month increments. And I was like, what is this? And then he was like, Oh, we sent you this in the email and I was like I I I know I have a bad memory but I don't remember seeing this and then he's like we sent this to you like do you do you not have a good experience with rental companies and I was like what does this have to do with anything and I because he said that last night too and he's like do you know anything about us and I'm like I'm like this is the second time you asked that what does that mean and he's like well I'm not getting good vibes from you and I'm like just because I don't remember this paperwork, that's not a good vibe. And just because I ask questions about the contract or ask questions about the bike, that's not a good vibe. You know, so that made me feel super uncomfortable, you know, which is fine. Maybe I'm in the wrong. I have a bad memory. And so I'm looking through my phone, looking for this contract. I'm looking for this person's email and any attachment. And I'm looking through my phone and he looks through his and I'm you know the only attachments I clearly remember are like photos of the bike videos of the bike um, a PDF of the service manual and owner's manual sorry and then like he's looking through it too and lo and behold he doesn't see anything and he actually sends it to someone else and he's like oh sorry like I sent it to someone else and not you and I'm just like no worries like I understand not being believed at a, as a female all the time like I'm used to it and he's like no 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 it's not that I'm like well what is it like <laughs> so I'm gonna start crying I, I already cried in front of him so um this trip is totally different than I thought um you know there are some there are there are good people that I've met but um, majority of the experiences, okay, 50% of the experiences so far with people are just, they haven't been good. Um, I've been scammed, I've been like talked down to, I've been like minimized. Um, and he's like, I feel like this guy who sold me the, his heels the whole company, he's like, I feel like you don't trust me. And I look at him, I'm like, you don't think I don't trust you? I sold all my belongings i prepared my life for this very point i wired you a shit ton of money like without ever even meeting you and you don't think i don't trust you like i don't even trust actually i would do this for my friends but like i don't i just don't do that for anyone like legitimate company or not like obviously i trust you and then he apologizes and i'm just like You just <laughs> can we stop this like negativity like this is not why i'm here you think i of all people give off negative vibes like do you know who i am like i've literally spent my life not get trying to not give off negative vibes and just because i asked a few questions about a contract that i'm that i've spent like over five thousand us dollars on like it should be appropriate so yeah um, I'm gonna try to play badminton with people who don't want to play badminton with an odd number <laughs> things can only go up again from here okay um, it's about 6 p.m. and bless Yurog um, he agreed to help me sign up for T-Mobile. Um, God, that would save me so much money. 
Um, because you need like a Croatian ID permanent address. So he's gonna meet me there at 645 at the T-Mobile store. And then I'm gonna try to play badminton afterwards. I'm just gonna walk over and I called um, the badminton club again. He's like, I don't know if anyone will play with you. And I was like, can I just show up and ask people? And he's like, yeah, you can show up, but I don't, I don't know. And I was like, okay, I'm just gonna show up. And I didn't really think this through. <laughs> so I thought about protection and security for my rackets when I'm riding, you know, like this case is pretty sturdy, but I didn't think about like when I'm going to the gym. So now I, I didn't bring any like bad soft badminton cases because it didn't close all the way when I put it in here. So now I have to carry this freaking rifle case on the street. I gotta think of something else. This is not okay. This is not okay. <laughs> I mean, even just thinking about like, if anyone was carrying a rifle case in another foreign country. Okay, I'm gonna try to find something and figure this out. <laughs> Here's the bad engine. I just finished playing badminton and I'm walking back to my bleh, walking back to my couch surfing spot and oh, man front desk person was super nice like they don't really have drop-in courts I guess um, it's either training or you come with a group of people and reserve a court and I was pretty persistent like is there anyone I can play with? Um, so the front desk person talked to the coach and the coach was like, okay, come, <laughs> you can warm, do you want to play with a girl or a boy? And I was like, a boy. And then he was like, oh, you don't think our girls are strong? I was like, okay, a girl then. And then he was like, do you want to play with the best? And I was like, no, don't put the best. Like, be like a medium level. And then he put a girl's singles. When I say girls, I mean like 12 year old girl. <laughs> um, we warmed up and we played and <sighs> dude, <laughs> I, I told her like, I don't play singles, I play doubles. And she like whooped my ass. Like I think I only scored 11 and then 12 the second game. And then I was like gassed. I was like, okay, I think I need water now thank you for playing with me and then i like sat down and then thank goodness coach is so nice i think his name his name is titty and he let me do drills um with the women's doubles um pair and i was able to play some mixed games with doubles rotation um with some folks man their men their male players are hella tall. I think my partner was like two feet taller than me. Um, <clears throat> but we lost the first one, won the second one. So it was actually pretty close. I'm glad I was able to hold my own in another country. Um, but having, like playing someone like, dude, I think they were like seven feet tall. Like that much taller than you is pretty intimidating. Um, and the coach invited me to play again on Wednesday. So I think I'll go Wednesday, and then after that I'm out of Zagreb and camping. So, yeah, it's like 43 degrees. I'm walking in my shorts, and thank goodness, like, I just worked out. But now I'm starting to feel the chill in my fingertips. But my heart blood is still running pretty warmly. Okay. Until tomorrow.